Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome, I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Today is Friday Power Flow, and it is a whopping two degrees outside. It's freezing and the wind is blowing. Even with my wood stove going, it's still kind of chilly in here. So we're gonna get moving right away. We're gonna get moving, warm up, flow, breathe, and have some fun in this Friday Power Flow. Let's get started in Downward Facing Dog. Come on to your mat come on into your downward facing dog and if it feels better start out in child's pose whether it's downward dog or child's pose start to feel your body start to feel your breath take a big breath in and a long breath out a big inhale fill up and a big exhale empty out as you start to move your breath, maybe you feel inspired to begin to intentionally move your body. I like to walk out my dog, but I like to walk out my dog kind of slowly. I give it some time. Notice how this body feels today, right here, right now. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Let your head hang down. See if you can soften your shoulders a bit. Can you hear the wind out there? It's pretty windy out there today too. Take another big inhale. And as you exhale, lightly step or jump to the front of your mat. Find your halfway lift, your flat back. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, come on up to stand. Reach your hands high. Lift your heart, look up, go back, a big breath in, hands to your heart, exhale. You can set your gaze here, lower your gaze or close your eyes. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, sweep your hands high, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to your mat, step back to your high push-up, high plank. Knees lifted or lowered. Fingers spread wide, low belly draws in and up. Take a big inhale. Exhale, forward and halfway down, low push-up, chaturanga. Feel if you can pause here, drop your knees or come all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog, maybe your cobra or your low cobra variation. Exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And I don't talk a lot about ujjayi breath, right? That's your yoga breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. But if it's something that you work with, that definitely helps you to warm up too from the inside out. This whole practice, your breath, the movement helps us to warm up and loosen up and hopefully lighten up as well. Take another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale. Fold, inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale, forward and halfway down. Upward dog, a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a breath in and a breath out. A big inhale and a big exhale. Once more, a deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up from the ground. Lift up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, low push up, step or jump back. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. And the reason I don't talk a whole lot about Ujjayi breath is well, I just don't think it's something that you have to worry about, right? If your nose is stuffed, if you can't quite get the hang of it. For me, it's more important that we just breathe, really. Breathe intentionally. And take the time and the opportunity to feel our breath, feel how we can use our breath to warm us up, but also to help us settle down a little bit. Take a big breath in. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand, rise and reach. Fold forward, exhale. 
halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Spin your back foot flat and come on up. Set your feet, reach your hands high, lift your heart. So yes, your energy, your breath, your prana, your life force, we're awakening that. And sometimes, absolutely, it works to breathe in and out through your nose. Practice ujjayi, which means victorious and triumphant. But if it doesn't work, that doesn't mean you can't practice. Don't get hung up on that. I feel how you can best breathe to support yourself right here, right now. Take one more big inhale, exhale. Hands come down to your mat, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Back foot spins flat, come on up, set your gaze. And that can be a little like your breath. You start to set your gaze, and then in your head, in your thinking mind, you wonder, what point should I settle my gaze on? Your breath, your drishti, this whole practice, an opportunity to take some space from all that excessive thinking and the unnecessary worry. Just feel where you are. Feel your two feet on your mat. Feel your hands reach high. Lifting up out of your hips, feel where you are. Let your heart lift and lighten. Take a really big inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, put a big bend in your knees feet together or apart, hands high or at your heart, or work with a different variation. Let this whole practice work for you. Feel really good about where you are, what you're doing. Feel how strong you are. Take a deep breath in here, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, back foot flat, rise up. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, rise up. Exhale, hands come back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, a big inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Right foot again, warrior one, rise up. Open out to your warrior two. A little more space between your feet, a little more length through your spine, through your arms and your fingers, spin your palms to the sky, and take your right hand high, reverse your warrior, reach up and go back. Keep the bend in your front knee, stay connected through your feet. Take a big inhale here, exhale, hands come down to your mat, high push up to low push up, upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one, rise up, open out, warrior two. Then you can take your front foot a little more forward. Don't get stuck in your head about that, right? Just wiggle your toes a little bit. Scooch your foot a little more forward. Stay grounded through your back foot, just for a moment. Spin your palms to the sky and take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up, go back, fill up a big inhale, exhale. Hands come down to your mat, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, Exhale, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Once more, a big inhale, fill up. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take your breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Keep your back heel lifted, rise up, bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale here, twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Stay grounded, connected through your feet, grounded, connected, supported in this breath. 
Now you can keep your hands together or you can open up. Maybe you work with your left arm on the outside of your right leg. Your left hand doesn't have to make contact. A little bit of a lift through the back of your left knee. So you're engaging, really engaging that back leg. Lengthening forward, your top hand can stay high or you can wrap it around behind your back. This is the start of your bind. Maybe you explore moving your hands closer together for the full bind. Notice your breath, right? strong breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Intentional breath, breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Find your footing, take your right hand high, reverse your warrior, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with your back foot. Let your right hand reach down. Maybe it makes contact, maybe not. Press out through your lifted heel. Take your top arm up. Open up, almost leaning back a little bit. You are leaning back a little bit, but not so much that you fall over, right? So find your balance. It's more than just physical. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Now keep your left leg lifted. Let your left hand start to come down towards the ground. And as your left hand comes down, drop your left hip. Standing leg raise, standing leg split. Nothing crazy. You can fold to your own degree. Lift that left leg to your own degree if you want to play around with this. One or both hands to your standing ankle. Take a deep breath in. Now left foot down beside the right front of your mat. Inhale, come on up to stand, rise and reach. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, bring your hands to your heart, take a big inhale, twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Coming into this twist, just a different leg variation. Maybe there's a little more room here. Soften your toes, and hands can stay together or open up. You can add in your side crow if you want to add in your side crow here. Really let your hips get low. As you breathe, breathe in, breathe up, your heart lifts. Take a big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart about hips with distance, peace fingers, hook your big toes, palms face each other. Halfway lift on your inhale, lengthen and fold as you exhale. Let your head drop, gently lengthening through the backs of your legs. Feel if you can lengthen and deepen your breath, a big breath in, and a long breath out. Now release your toes, walk your feet closer together, hands on your mat, press into your right foot, and again, lift your left leg up. So coming back into that standing leg raise, standing leg split. Get grounded through your right foot, engage your right leg, engage your core, walk your hands to under your shoulders. Start to lift your torso up so that it's parallel to the ground. Now keep your left leg lifted, but you can drop it a bit. Make sure your hips are even here. Strong through your core. Start to float your hands up and out to the sides. So it's a warrior three variation. Your hands reach right and left. Your lifted foot reaches back. Crown the head reaches forward. Take a deep breath in. Half moon. Right hand starts to come down. Hips open up. You can take your left hand up. If you want to play around with a variation here, you can bend. I'm going to fall over. You can bend. Nope, I didn't. You can bend that lifted knee, catch the foot back behind you. It becomes like a dancer on its side. Wherever you are, take a big breath in and then lightly drop back to your warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Bring your feet together a little bit forward, right leg high. Come on forward to your high push up. Right knee above and outside your right elbow. Make contact here, maybe drop to the low push up or try the arm balance. Inhale up and back, three legged dog. High push up, draw your knee into your chest. Lift out of your shoulders, tuck in. Inhale. Up and back to your three-legged dog, high push-up, right knee above and outside your left elbow so you have lift and twist. Now, extend that right foot to the left. Side plank variation. Heels roll to your right, left hand reaches high. Strong through your core, lift out that bottom shoulder. Take a big inhale, and then come on back. High push-up, forward and down, low push-up. Upward dog, take a deep breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. 
And even if you practice ujjayi breath, it is nice every once in a while to just open your mouth. Ah, release like a sigh. Take another big inhale, exhale, step or jump to the front, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand, hands high, heart lifts. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Come on up. Set your feet, hands to your heart, take a big inhale, twist to your left, right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Feel your inhale, you're lengthening, and then as you exhale, you have the room to twist. Little lift here to your chest, to your heart, hands can stay together, or they can open up, right hand reaching down, left hand high. Check in with your back leg. Just because you can't see a part of your body doesn't mean you can't use a part of your body. Use your whole body. Take care of your whole being here. You can keep your top hand high or you can wrap it around behind your back, the start of your bind. That right arm might slide under the left leg. You can simply explore bringing your hands closer together. They don't necessarily have to meet. And the whole time, notice your breath. Strong breath, steady breath, intentional breath. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, push off. Left hand reaches down, right hand comes up. Right heel, press out through your right heel. Bring some energy, some breath, some prana into that lifted foot and cultivate a little bit of lightness, buoyancy. Now here your right foot stays lifted, right hand starts to come down towards the ground. Roll your right hip down, even out your hips, and then standing leg raise, standing leg split. You can walk your hands back a bit, let your head drop. Don't worry about how high you get your lifted leg. I never get my lifted leg very high. You can catch your ankle with one or both hands. Use your drishti, take a big inhale. Right foot down beside your left, front of your mat. Inhale, come on up, rise up, Utkatasana. Sit down, draw your hands to your heart, take a big inhale. Now twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Long spine grounded through your feet. You can wiggle your toes a little bit, just so that you're not hanging on. Reminder to yourself that you don't have to hang on. You can be grounded and supported. And then if you want to separate your hands, open up here, maybe a side crow. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy this twist. Enjoy this moment right where you are. Take a big inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, bow hips with distance, and stand on your hands, Padanhastasana. Halfway lift on your inhale. Lengthen and fold as you exhale. Palms are up, fingertips towards your heels. Maybe get your hands a little under your feet. Maybe get your hands a lot under your feet. And maybe this is challenging. But that's so much of what our practice is about. To be in this moment, feel the challenge, but still feel that we can be in joy and at ease in our body, using our breath. Take your hands out from under your feet, walk your feet closer together, hands on your mat, press into your left foot and take your right leg up. Standing leg raise, standing leg split. Maybe there's a little more room this time, Maybe you just give yourself a little more room, a little more space in your head to play around. Now walk your hands under your shoulders. Start to lift your torso up so your torso is almost parallel to the ground. Check in with that right leg. It's lifted, but the right hip is down. Now really engage your core and start to float your hands up and out to the sides. So it's a warrior three variation. Like I said, maybe more of a, an airplane variation. There is room to play around. From here, half moon, that left hand comes down, the right arm goes up, still pressing out through your right heel, engaging your right leg. 
Take your time with your drishti. You can shift it over to the side wall or you can keep it down at the ground. And then if you want to play around, you can bend that lifted knee, catch the foot with the hand like a dancer on its side. Take a really big breath in wherever you are and then lightly drop back to your warrior two. Nicely done. Take your left hand high reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Bring your feet together a little bit forward. Left leg reaches for the sky. High push up, left knee above and outside your left elbow. You can drop to the low push up, try the arm balance. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. High push up, draw your knee into your chest. Lift out of your shoulders, tuck in. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. High push up, left knee above and outside your right elbow. Pause for a moment, and then left foot extends to the right. Heels roll to the left, right hand high. Your side plank variation, you can drop your left knee if you like. You can take your right arm up and almost a little bit back. Maybe take your gaze up, a big inhale, and then come on back to your high push up, forward and down, low push up, upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a full inhale and a big exhale. And breathe in and breathe out. Take a deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Upward dog. Take a deep breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Here, come on forward to your high push up, your high plank, and then down to your forearms. For your forearm plank, your dolphin plank, shoulders over elbows, low belly draws in and up. You can interlace your fingers, but notice if you really start to hang on with your fingers. Right? That's why I just lightly set my hands together. You can even have your hands flat on your mat. I'm going to set your gaze softly. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay here. Let your heels press back. Your core is engaged. Again, a little lift out of your shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Now soften your face, soften your jaw, breathe in and breathe out. Take one more big inhale and then come on down. Come all the way down to your mat. Lie on your belly, forehead or chin to your mat and take your arms out in front of you. Engage your core on your inhale. Lift up. Lift your hands, your shoulders, your feet. Take a big breath in. Stay lifted. Right hand reaches back towards your right heel. Come to center. Left hand reaches back towards your left heel. Come to center. So side to side. Right hand back. Center belly and up. Left hand back. Center. Right hand back. You can have your feet together or apart. Center. Left hand back. Center. Right hand back. Center, left hand back, center. One more each side, right hand back, center, left hand back, center. Now hold here for five, four, core engage, three, two, one, and come on down. Ah, set your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under. Lift your knees. So you're setting up for your high push-up. Core is engaged, elbows squeeze in, push the ground away. Come on up to your high push-up, press back to your downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and a breath out. Another big inhale, and as you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands, sit down, lie down, come onto your back, and set up for your bridge or your wheel. Set your feet flat and straight, about hips width distance apart. Take a big inhale and come on up. Fill up, lift up, lengthen through the sides of your body. Arms and hands can be alongside or you can interlace your fingers under your hips. 
you want to come right up for your wheel, come right up for your wheel. If bridge, supported bridge, or even rest feels better, feel that you have the space to add that in. And whatever variation you're in, still strong, steady breath, intentional breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more big inhale, and as you exhale, come on down. Lie on your back, soles of your feet together, knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big breath in through your nose. Here's a nice place to open your mouth. And empty out. You might even add in a lion's breath. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Draw your knees into your chest, give them a squeeze, and come on into your happy baby, knees wide, long spine, you can grab your feet or your legs, a little bit of movement is nice. Bring your knees back to your chest, set your left foot flat on your mat, take your right foot across your left thigh for your half pigeon variation, your sleeping pigeon. You can stay here. You can also set up a traditional half pigeon if you like. You can lift that left leg. Catch the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. I like to catch the front of my left shin and draw in. Be aware of your left foot, but you can let it be soft. You might flex your right foot as you pull in here. And even as you pull in, just notice, can you soften your fingers a little bit? Maybe soften your shoulders, your face. If you're practicing the ujjayi breath, you can hear it. Maybe you can hear the wind outside. It's really windy outside still. Your ujjayi breath sounds like the waves of the ocean coming against the shore. And Ujjayi means victorious or triumphant. You are not, let me start over again. And Ujjayi means victorious or triumphant. Here, you can release this side, give your knees a squeeze, and set up on the other side. Either this half pigeon variation, sleeping pigeon, maybe a traditional half pigeon, this side might be really different than the other side. When I first started practicing yoga and the teacher would say victorious breath, I thought he was saying Victoria's breath like a person. And I was like, who's Victoria? And then I, I learned more about it. And for me, it's not about a victory or a triumph over anyone else. And that's often how we think about those words. But really the, the triumph, the joy of you being right here, right now, in your own body, in your own practice. And again, for me, if you know Ujjayi breath and you practice it, that's great. But if you don't, just this practice of showing up and intentional breath, remembering to feel your breath and to let your breath flow freely, to be balanced, to feel how you can use your breath on your mat, but also off your mat and in your life. Here, release your legs, your hands, give your knees a squeeze and set up for your Shavasana. So if you want to add in a twist, you can. If you want to take your legs up, you can, or come back to Supta Baddha Konasana, you can. And here you can allow your breath, whether it's Ujjayi breath or breathing through your mouth, you can allow it to become softer, but still as much attention to your breath as you need. So you can stay here for these last few moments of your practice. So important, these last few moments of your practice. Take one more really deep breath in. 
And then go ahead, open your mouth and empty out. Ha. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers and toes. Draw your knees to your chest. Roll to one side and make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. A little bit shorter Shavasana than usual because it's a little chillier than usual today. Draw your hands to your heart and together let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for Friday Power Flow. Hope you feel good, warm. Hope you feel triumphant because you practiced, and that's awesome. I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. I would love it if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check out what else I'm offering. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you on your mat.